The principles are the blueprints or recipe for art. They guide us in how to put the elements together. Proportion refers to the relative size of the various elements in a design, the relationship between objects or parts of a whole. Our most universal standard of measurement is the human body. We judge the appropriateness of size of objects by that measure. Many of our units of measurement derive from the proportions of the human body. But this caused problems because not all bodies are the same. In fact, some people attempt to alter their proportions, such as elongating their necks or earlobes or binding of their feet. The ancient Greeks created an ideal of the human figure based on mathematics and proportions. Leonardo created this famous image of human proportions based on this ideal. According to this ideal, the proportions of the human head and face are based on the measurement of the eye. The head is five eyes wide and seven eyes tall. The eyes are placed halfway down the head with one eye width on either side and one eye width in between. The tip of the nose is one eye wide and halfway between the eye line and the chin. The mouth is located halfway between the nose line and chin and the corners of the mouth are located at the midpoint of the eyes. The ears extend from the eye line to the nose line. The neck would come out from the head at the mouth line and the hairline would be halfway between the eye line and the top of the head. According to the ideal, the human body is based on the vertical length of the head. The body is eight heads tall overall. The head obviously occupies the first length and the torso the next two. The hips occupy one length, taking us to the midpoint of the body. The legs extend the other four lengths. The thigh is two lengths, and the calf and foot the last two. The arms from just below the shoulder muscle to the elbow are one head length, and from the elbow to the wrist another. The width of the shoulders is two head lengths, while the width of the hips is a head and a half. From the side, the foot is one head length, as is most of the torso. Artists frequently take liberties with the natural proportions of the human body to achieve their expressive goals. The Venus of Willendorf, one of the oldest known works of art, is thought to be a fertility charm due to the proportions of the figure. The artist El Greco used elongated limbs to create a sense of holy loftiness and angelic nature in his figures. The American regionalist Thomas Hart Benton distorted the proportions of his figures to accentuate the simple and strong nature of the rural people he painted. Walt Disney characters often used the proportions of children to create emotional attachment to key characters. All objects have proportions. Think of the old-time bicycle with the extra-large front wheel or the tires of a monster truck. In pottery, much consideration is given to pleasant proportions. For example, the overall height of an urn in comparison to the width of the waist and the length of the neck. You will choose furniture based on how well it fits into a room, the proportions of the couch to the living room or the bed to the bedroom. The golden mean is based on the Fibonacci sequence. This golden proportion is 1 to 1.6 and written mathematically as A is to B as B is to A plus B. This principle can even be found in the roots of Western music and the octave scale. It can be found throughout nature in shells, plants, in the clouds of a hurricane, and even in the spiral arms of a galaxy. 
it creates a self-perpetuating golden rectangle. This has been used in architecture around the world. And artists have been known to use it as an underlying foundation for their compositions. 